has brought a lot of hope back at Chapel Hill for football. It's going to be fascinating to see how that affects the recruiting duels. Uh, I think it's another reason why this game feels like it's so big for both of these programs. Antonio Williams trying to find a seam there. Getting free and battles across the 40-yard line. Third down and seven. Howell on the back pedal from the 35-yard line. It's incomplete. Off the hands of Octavius Groves with Carolina receiver. You know, if half of those are caught over the course of the season, Howell's completion percentage goes up dramatically and would actually be number two behind Trevor Lawrence. And from the 22-yard line, Lear with another handoff straight ahead and a big game there and spinning free from one tackler, Bam Knight. So tough to take down on first contact. It's covering everybody up, a hat for a hat. Really creating an opportunity for him to hit it hard downhill. And then good blocking down. With Trent Penix now the running back. Young quarterback to throw for a short and it's going to be dropped. Incomplete. Intended for Imezi. See it there, but quarterback can help you out by giving your ball out foot out in front. Yeah, he's 6'3", 210, you're right, big guy. Groves around the 10-yard line with a fair catch, backpedaling. Go to the Orange Bowl, right? At this, point, at this point, yes. Out of throw over the middle and completed to Newsom. A little battle across the 30-yard line and a big gain for Daz Newsom. Oh, when you see Peyton Wilson come in there, when he does... Now trying to scamper free, but he's going to be taken down. You know, one knock about the youngster has been maybe he holds on to the football a little too long. The last six against NC State. Back to throw Howell. Here on third and 16. Now he's going to run it out of there. He is taken down. Stopped by Cecil Powell. Our heels need the win to become the 10th team in the ACC to be bowl eligible after Boston College won earlier today. Thomas back around the 20-yard line. One of the things they like about Devin Leary is he can run a bit. He can use his legs to pick up a first down to get some much-needed yardage. He'll hand off here for Houston. Try to left side, but that disappears on the stop by Bohasek. And he is fired up. Winning across the face of Fed Jackson and and running down and there's another big one hunting is not a disaster right here on third and 17 he will hand off for Penix Chaz Surratt closing the hole had a feeling and talked to them about it and made a great play and you know Jay Bateman's going to be good to the, for the development of Chaz Surratt at linebacker Lucy back inside the 40 but they get to him and they bring him down Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Powell got there, but a flag is down. Of it, and, you know, Dominic Ross and Patrice Rene, and you know, two of their better players, and it's obviously not good for your team. Third and nine, and a short pass this one to Carter. A very good receiving running back, but he's not going to get there. Well shy of a first. Great time in his life. Flag down, and a free play down the end zone, and that's going to be caught, but he's going to be... Out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. And it's a good job of Howell using that extra clap. And then basically, the reason those are so successful is. Here to the second quarter in Raleigh. Carter again, but he's pushed back. He got free. Still up. They stop him eventually around the five. Howell out of the gun. Stepping up. Going to try and run it, breaks free, got inside the five. Isaiah Moore saved a touchdown to tackle to gain seven. Trying to stick this one and tie the game up with nine minutes to go in the first half, and that one is good. We're tied up 3-3. Trent Penix in there at the running back, but he's going to throw it, air it out. That's going to be incomplete. Wound up a 68-yard punt. Spotted from the four. The open receiver is Newsom. Newsom to cut outside. And on the sideline, now he's off to the races. Back in, across the 40, he's dragged down. Able to get going, and what a big play by Daz Newsom. And two for North Carolina. Al, quick pass, and complete to Groves.
Looking to throw. Pressure on the quarterback, and he's going to go down again. Another sack of Howell. It's, a deal. it's an RPO. You can have the opportunity for the run. But because you're going to have these edge rushers here, they don't come, and they end up being in the throwing lane for Sam Howell. Watch when he pulls this ball out. He's trying to throw the slant in behind, but he doesn't feel like he's got a lane. And because he doesn't feel like he has a lane, he holds on to the football. And he will kick that one just about perfectly to make it six to three Tar Heels. Well, he's gone to five consecutive bowl games. That won't happen this year. This effectively is their bowl game. Larry to fire long, and that's incomplete. Now North Carolina looking for a special teams play. Here's Newsom. And a fair catch. We'll take the break. 3.23 to go and a half. Carolina with a three-point lead. And he can fire it in there. Outstanding arm strength. First and ten, and a complete pass to Corrales. Corrales tiptoeing out of bounds. Instead, as your answer on the RPOs. He can throw those short ones. Likes to throw it long, too, and he's stepping back and looking downfield. He's going to sling this one. Kind of threw that one up for grabs. It's batted, and it's intercepted by NC State. The low pad, Peyton Wilson with the pick after the tip. Your eye on him. Because he's going to get some depth initially, but when this ball is thrown down the field, he can stand there and watch, or he can pursue it like he does here. And because he pursues it, he's there to make a play on the football as Graves goes up and fights for the ball. As we approach two minutes to go in the first half, he'll throw short, and that one completed to Tabari Hines. Here he's trying to keep this drive alive. He will keep it and plow ahead. Looking to pick up the first down. As he rallied the troops back to throw. Has time in the pocket. He's going to throw long as a man in the end zone. And a touchdown, Hines! And the Wolfpack using that interception to their advantage. They strike from 39 yards. A three by one. So basically, you're going to have a go this way, you're going to have a seam, and you're going to have a go outside. You're trying to two on one that safety right there. But basically, what happens is they try to midline this, and it leaves the outside receiver so wide open. You see Storm Duck at the top of the screen fall inside, and when that happens, it leaves Hines wide open. See that little switch release gets Carter inside. Storm Duck falls in. Phil Longo told us, the offensive coordinator, early in the season, we want to play with our hair on fire. Howell's going to get down on his back again, pressured by McNeil, his second of the night. Right there, and he's going to end up getting inside. He's on Brian Anderson. And I think North Carolina was a little bit concerned about that matchup, that matchup in the run game, that matchup in the pass game as well. Here the chill and the damp air in Raleigh tonight. Third down, 11. Hand off Carter, trying that left side, but he can't bounce outside. A flag is down. Eight seconds to go in the second. Howell out of the gun. Looks over the center. Complete to Newsom. Back in the end zone in case this ball isn't kicked long enough. His leg into this one, and Thomas will take it out of the end zone. And here he comes with zeros on the clock, cross the 20. Cutting to the sideline, tiptoeing along that line before he is pushed out. Can't do much better than that. Looking forward to the second half here in Raleigh. Pressure on the quarterback and incomplete. And a flag. After the incomplete pass. Third and nine at the 36. He's back to throw. And incomplete. That was Devin Carter who did not catch the football. I should feel pretty good about it. Daz Newsom back at the 24-yard line on a short punt. And that'll bounce to him. He's going to try and run for that sideline as he steps out. The NC State defense has been third and five. Three wide outs to the right. He's going to hand off for Carter, and Carter's going nowhere. It's going to cause enough confusion. They're basically getting into the pass rush. It causes enough confusion that McKeithen can't get his block. And then you have the tackle for the loss there by Murchison, guy that will play at the next level at linebacker. And one of his best games of the season came against Clemson. That one fired in there, and North Carolina will come up with the football on the interception. 
Don Chapman with the pick. And Larry hadn't done tonight was throw the interception, which you see there, he just way out in front of Angeline, who a lot of people around him. And Chapman, who is a true freshman and has been playing a little bit more with the Miles Wolfolk injury. Howell out of the shotgun. Time to throw. Throws into the flat and complete to Williams. Williams cutting loose down the right side. And a first down. Javante Williams, Brock Miller missed a tackle. Gain of 21. First down 10, hand off Williams. Williams busts it up the middle, heading to the end zone. He dives in for the touchdown from 26 yards. Brown wanted to get the run game going. Well, he gets it going here with Javante Williams. He does an awesome job in space as he dives into the end zone. Two out of 10 on third downs, NC State. Wants to throw, and now he has to run, and he's taken down by Chaz Surratt, who is putting together a tremendous game. Surratt over here, he's going to end up wrapping around. You just see his speed, his ability to turn the corner. North Carolina trying to put together a drive here. On a handoff, it's Williams, who is a big factor on the touchdown drive moments ago to put them into the lead, stopped by Peyton Wilson. Comes off to clean up some of the trash there as well, which helps Williams get to the perimeter. On second down, Carter trying to dance inside. And he'll pick up a first down. It makes sense, Tim. I mean, given the conditions tonight, there have been a lot of drop passes in this game. Howell's going to throw. Time to do that. Airs it out and complete. Got that one out to Bo Corrales for the catch. And another first down. Third down and one. He'll throw short, and a completed pass to Brown. Second down for the talented freshman quarterback. Going into the flat, complete Williams. Williams, as he busts ahead again. Short pass, Williams, Williams, again with dive to the end zone. Javante Williams with a touchdown. A 10-yard strike. Fence and Sam Howe doesn't like the post, doesn't like the wheel, comes off and hits his check down. And then Williams is able to do the rest, and Sam Howe should be excited about it. His young quarterback has responded, and you see, even see there, no reaction in Sam Howe's face. Right, and that's one of the things they admire about him. Never too high, never too low flags on this pass play. With 4.56 to go in the third. Cornerback's been an issue for them. Freshman out of South Carolina. And the ball is loose, and North Carolina is going to pounce on it. Jeremiah Gemmel forcing the fumble, and he's the man who landed on it. A way to slow this North Carolina offense. Carter finds a hole. He's going to pick up a first down. You know, a lot of people have been talking about the success of the season, but not Mack, really. Tough catch, man, and that play by Newsom is he'll pick up a first, and they're driving it again. Daz Newsom is the perfect kind of player. He's in motion again, off to the right. The handoff for Williams following a blocker, trying to get in there, and he will. Williams again. He's had a big second half already. Another touchdown. This one from six yards. Going for North Carolina offensively. And then inside the 10-yard line, just power football. I expect more of that, especially with the third quarter he just had. Leary looking for some magic. Gets the pass off. He drills it complete to Hines for the first down. Gets into his break. See that ball out? And then there comes Hines on the in cut. No, and I think that's one of the things Dave Doran likes about him. He's going to throw another interception, though. That one picked off by North Carolina's Trey Morrison. Devin Leary, but watch there, Thomas. He just stops. He, got to, he wants to get inside. He stops, and he's just trying to muscle Morrison. And, you know, it looks like a little bit of a miscommunication there. As Leary's throwing it inside as he's under pressure. But Morrison... You know, just beats their Thomas inside. In the third, North Carolina has taken over on a play fake. Looking long, and a man open. A flag is down. 
But it's going to be caught and into the end zone for Brown. But a flag on the play nonetheless. That's an outstanding route by Dammy Brown. And with the safety in the middle of the field, Sam Howell holds him with his eyes. And you look at all that room to place the football defense by way of turnover. But really, the, the nightmare that Dave Dorn didn't want to see. Bachman complete. The receiver, Carter, can't quite get away. It's Storm Duck wrapping him up. You know, Hawkman started a few games and you know, really it beat out Leary for the backup job to start the season. He'll fire that one. He tried to stay in, and it is a complete pass. First and 10 at the 32 yard line of North Carolina. Quarterback's going to tuck it and run out of bounds. Leary, but good opportunity here for Hawkman. Ben Leary knocked out an apparent injury. This one's fired to the end zone, but incomplete with a flag down. Flags dropped in the end zone. First and goal to five-yard line. They'll fire this one complete to Houston, but Houston can't add on and much after the catch. They still have time in this one. He has time to throw, and that's incomplete. Over the head of Thayer Thomas. Situation would be what I'd try to do. 6'7", 250. Flings that one for the end zone and incomplete. North Carolina with the coverage. And you've got to find the character of your team in, in some of those situations. Well, they've had a remarkable season in that regard with their close games. Big hole opens up here for Carter. Carter spins away from one tackler. Getting across the 50-yard line with a giant gain. It's just great blocking up front. It's a Zudu coming around again. He gets a great block and Carter is untouched into the secondary. He's 20 yards down the field before he gets contacted. He's able to break that tackle. Just really, really impressive running by these backs. 34-10, Carolina looking to add to that. The pass is zipped to Corrales who gets free. He's still up, across the 20-yard line before they bring him down. And Dave Dorn's nightmare of not being able to tackle just continues to get worse. As you see, Corrales really, you know, Sam Howell continues to impress. They overload the left side. He'll drill that for the end zone and a touchdown. Newsom. Daz Newsom with the catch. And Carolina finds the end zone again to lead it 40 to 10. They have run away with this. They have been impressive. And Sam Howell's going to pump the wide screen and then just quickly get himself recoiled to shoot that ball down the seam before the free safety can get over the top. Don't protect the football, and the next thing you know, you look at the scoreboard and the game is completely flipped on you. On the run, a quarterback keeper here, Hawkman, taken down by Dominique Ross. You know, especially at the cornerback position, and they've been forced to play some young defenders in the secondary, and you know, I think that's one of the reasons why it's a really big deal for Mac Brown in his first year. Yeah, and for Dave Doran talking with Dave, you know, he was really down about long pass and incomplete. Flag is down on the play intended for Devin Carter, covered by Trey Morrison, the first half. And completely put the game on its ear. Hockman a roll. And looking short. And a battle for that, and another interception. Another interception for North Carolina, picked off by Miles Dorn. Fets in general doing a great job of just going after the football. It's a fight for it, and Miles Dorn comes away with it. Regardless of what happens in the bowl game, is going to wind up being a success story, certainly for Mac Brown returning to North Carolina. Second time around, big first down here for Roscoe Johnson. They drag him down, but into Wolfpack territory with a big game. Even coming to those early games, we covered several of them at the very top of the season, that something was growing for football. Pretty darn good combination of quarterback and wide receiver, not to mention the running backs. I mean, Javante Williams had a big night tonight. He really kind of took over that explosion in the third quarter. He was in the middle of every big play. North Carolina Bowl eligible for the first time since 2016. The return of Mac Brown. These two are pals. They admire each other. Dave Doran and Mac Brown a great deal.